Today, Baltimore sports teams and fans paid tribute to our super fan, Mo Gaba. This would have been his 16th birthday. WMAR 2 News' Dave Dentling joined in on a birthday celebration and has more on Mo's lasting impact on Charm City Sports. Well, for the second annual Mo Gabba Day, Maryland is remembering a teen who put a smile on so many people's faces. And for those who came out tonight here to Jimmy's Famous Seafood, they wore purple and orange, remembering the smiling teen who loved the restaurant's fried shrimp and milkshakes. There were hugs from Mo's mother on what would have been his 16th birthday. Friends, family, and perfect strangers celebrated at his favorite seafood restaurant. I'm just so proud of everything that he's accomplished and the amount of people that he's touched. And I'm just full of gratitude because all these people, all walks of life coming here to celebrate my son. And what is it about Jimmy's seafood that he absolutely loves? See, it's because he watched Triple D and he's like, Mom, we got to go, we got to go, go. And fried shrimp and he fell in love with it. And the milkshakes. <laughs> I got this, Mom. Let's do this. His other loves, the Ravens and Orioles. At age nine, he began calling into sports talk radio shows, sharing his passion for local sports teams. Despite Gabba's struggle with blindness and battles with cancer, his positive attitude and love for sports shine through. He was infectious, so much so, he'd go on to make history by becoming the first person to announce an NFL draft pick off of a Braille card. With the 123rd pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Baltimore Ravens select Ben Powers, Oklahoma. Another Mo Gabba moment when he threw out the first pitch at an Orioles game and met the team's mascot. Oriole bird again. <laughs> his strength, his perseverance yes. to go through everything that he went through and still have a smile on his face was absolute. It was like it was just definitely inspiring to all of us in Baltimore. Yay! Thank you. Their memories and experiences, his mom says, will keep her son's spirit alive in the hearts of Baltimoreans. Mo, as much as he went through, he never wanted anybody to feel sorry for him. He just wanted everybody else to be okay and live the best life as much as they could and try to make somebody else feel better in the process. And that's what he lived by. So he was one of a kind. He was one of a kind. And as Mo's mom put it, if you want to make a difference, just put a smile on someone's face. Reporting outside Jimmy's Famous Seafood, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.